In this video, I want to share with you a brand new ClickBank affiliate marketing strategy that I'm actively using right now. As you can see here, I'm able to get quite a lot of sales and I'm making close to $3,000. And right now, I'm still experimenting with this strategy and I'll share with you a lot of updates over the coming days. So make sure if you are new to my channel, right, make sure you go down below and click on the subscribe button. It is free to subscribe to my channel because I'm making weekly videos to share with you some new strategies and new update on how to make money with affiliate marketing and ClickBank. And if you want to learn my number one way to make a full-time income online, make sure to click on the first link in the video description down below as well to get started. If you are totally new to ClickBank, step one is to create your free ClickBank account to get started. Now simply go on to clickbank.com and once you reach the homepage, you can go over to click on the start here button at the top and then you're gonna wait for a couple of seconds for this survey box to pop up and then you can skip this survey, all right? You don't have to go through that. Simply click on this link here and then that's gonna redirect you to their official register form, all right? Simply fill up your information. As you can see here, they're accepting pretty much every country in the world and then simply fill up the details, read the terms and conditions and then you can join ClickBank for free. Now that you have a ClickBank account, simply log into your account and then visit the ClickBank Marketplace. Now, in this marketplace, you can find hundreds and thousands of different affiliate products that you can pick and choose and then start promoting them. As you can see here, each of these products, they're gonna pay you differently. For example, Java Burn, right? They pay you $150 on average per sale. And then Pure Revive, $129. Sugar Defender, $134, so on and so forth. You can see here, the list here just goes on and on, right? There are hundreds and thousands of products and different many, you know, categories. For example, you can see fiction, game, green products, health and fitness and so on, right? So the next question that most beginners will have is that, hey, Branson, how should I, you know, know which category or which product should I promote on ClickBank for me to make my first commission and then scaling and growing from there? And guess what? That's a pretty fair question and let me help you, right? So normally, right, what I would do is that every single day, I will pretty much come on the ClickBank and then look at the top offers. So I simply click on top offers and I just browse around to see what caught my attention because this list will keep on refreshing every single day, right? They're gonna pretty much show you the top performing offers at the top so you know what is hot and what is popular right now. And perhaps you can pick one of these to get started. Now, this is the first way. And second way, which is more specific. So in this video, I wanna introduce you to one category and one products if you have no idea, right, which one to start with. And then this has a very low competition. So simply go on to cooking, food and wine, right? Simply click on this category. And then you wanna scroll down and then skip the first one and then you wanna look for this one here, right? The complete plant-based recipe cookbook. They have over 200 plus vegan recipe. Now, basically this is like a cookbook, like a recipe that you are promoting. And then whenever people buy this recipe cookbook, you're able to earn on average around $21 per sale. Now, you might see that it's not a lot of commissions per sale, but because it's a very low price product, you're able to get a lot more sales, right? Much lower resistance for people to buy this product. And then they have a gravity score of 12, right? It's not a lot because it's not hot, it's not popular, that's why it's not popping off so much. So it's not on a lot of people's radar, right? Not a lot of people, they promoting this. Therefore, you have much lesser competition, which opens up the gate for you as a complete beginner to get started. So if you want to learn more information about this affiliate product, what is it all about? You can always visit their affiliate page, right? Simply click on this button here, says affiliate page. And then you're going to go on to the vendor right, the product creator website, and they're gonna explain to you more information about the products. For example, they're gonna say like, they're paying 75% commissions to you, which is pretty decent, right, 75%. And then when you scroll down, you're gonna get more information. They're gonna give you more resources like the product images, some keywords, some email swipes, testimonials, and free reports to assist you in your promotion, right? There are a lot of different resources that you can check out. So it's always a good habit for you to check out the affiliate page for all the products that you are promoting. So let's just assume that this is the product that we wanna to promote together today, right? And I'll teach you how to promote, how to get clicks on your affiliate links and how to get sales, right? So all you gotta do is simply click on this blue promote button here. And then simply click on this button where it says create hop link. And then you're gonna see this encrypted hop link will be automatically created for you. So right now you wanna copy this link because you're gonna use it later. Now, very important one mistake that some people do that I see is that 
they sometimes when they highlight the link, right, they try to highlight and copy, and then sometimes they miss highlight, they miss out certain alphabets and characters, or maybe worse, right, they type it up themselves or whatever, right, they're gonna miss some of the alphabets or letters, and the links will become broken. So it's much better that you just click on the copy button to copy the entire link fully so that the link is not broken. And the reason why is because right now, we have to promote this link, meaning we have to share this link on the internet, and then getting people to click on our hop link, and then they're gonna go on and buy the product, we'll get the commissions, we'll get credit with the commissions. So imagine, right, if your link is broken, even if they buy the product, you are not gonna get the commissions, right? You'll lose out money, you're leaving money on the table. So very important to copy the link, and then I'll quickly paste it on my browser to let you see, right, what your visitors will see, right? Let's say people, when they click on your hop link, right, this is what they're gonna see, right? The official sales page and website of this product. As you can see here, want to cook ridiculously tasty vegan recipe from scratch, but I have no idea where to start. They're gonna have a sales video that explain about this product, and then they're gonna, you know, have some more information on their website, and then eventually they offer them to buy this recipe cookbook. Let me scroll down, you can see here, $34. Dollars, right? And people can add to cart, they make the payment, and then you're able to generate the commissions 75%, right? And on top of that, if they buy any upgrades or any upsells, right? Meaning if they offer any additional, let's say, meal plan or whatever, online courses, whatever, right? You will still get paid with all the upgrades, right? Which is one sale that you make. Right, you're gonna make more money automatically. So that's the good thing about ClickBank because most products they have some upsells and upgrades for people to buy. So that's the entire strategy here where we pick a product, we get our link, and then go on and understand more about this product, right? Read their affiliate page, check out their website to see what it is all about. Now the next question is that hey Branson, how can I promote my hop link? How can I share my link on the internet so that other people will click my link and buy from me so that I can earn commissions? So that's the next Step, what I want to teach you now. So remember, we have to first understand what are we promoting, what are we selling here, which is a vegan recipe cookbook, right? So we're going to find and attract the right and ideal customers who are potentially going to buy this thing, right? Because the number one mistake a lot of beginners do is that they simply copy the link and start to spam the link on Facebook, on Reddit, on Twitter, whatever, right? They start spamming the links and then hoping and praying for somebody to buy and they'll make money. And most likely, it's not gonna happen, right? That's the wrong way to do it. But let me show you the right way to do it is by leveraging social media, platform like YouTube, which has millions and billions of viewers on YouTube, right? So every single day, people go onto YouTube to watch videos for free, and you can use YouTube to create content to create videos on YouTube to attract the ideal customers, right, who are potentially gonna buy whatever you're promoting. And don't worry, because right now in this era, in this day and age, you don't have to show your face, right? You can do it completely faceless. If you are worried about, you know, getting yourself out there on the social media, you're afraid to show your face, right? You don't want to be in front of camera, you have no charisma, you don't know a lot of filming recording skills, right? It doesn't even matter because right now, you can create a faceless YouTube channel like this. For example, Super Food Evolution, there are 446 thousand subscribers, close to half a million subscribers, and guess what? They only have a logo, right, for their channel. They don't even have a person's name, right? And then you can see their videos. They don't have face in their videos, right? You don't even know who is the channel owner, right? They are completely anonymous. They are not showing their face, but they're still getting a lot of views, a lot of subscribers, and they're making a lot of money on YouTube. And you can definitely do that for yourself by using AI. Right, because at a later part of this video, I'll show you how to use simple AI tools like Flicky to help you create a done-for-you AI videos that you can post on YouTube, right? Video like this, so they can start generating views on YouTube, and then you can also get sales, right? Because when people watch a video, say for example, when they're watching this video, about nine things about collard greens, right? And then a portion of your viewers will go ahead and click on the links in your video descriptions. And all these links could be your ClickBank hop links, right? So they watch your videos, they click the link, right? They visit the website, they buy the products, and then you're able to generate commissions. And this is just one income stream, right, from ClickBank Affiliate Marketing. You can also build a second income stream on YouTube because all the views that you generate, you're able to make money from the ads right, that showed up on your video, right? Once your channel is monetized, right, whenever you see those annoying pesky ads that showed up, right, the channel owner actually makes money, right? The ads showed up for a reason, YouTube is making money, and the channel owner is making money as well. So you can build a second income source 
by making money on YouTube, right? So you can earn two income streams by just making money on YouTube and you can do it completely faceless, completely anonymous. You don't have to show your face and you can use simple AI tools to do it for you. And I teach you everything step by step in this video. But one concept I do want to have in your mind right now, which is that this is a long term game, right? This is not a get rich quick, but instead I want you to think about, you know, your YouTube channel is like an asset that you build up, right? Your asset, they might not make you money today, this week or this month, but once you build it up, they're going to scale and compound over time, right? Imagine if you only have like one, two, three videos, you might not make any money yet. But once you build up a video library, for example, you can see here, they scroll down, they have rows and rows of videos, right? As you can see here, hundreds and hundreds of videos. And now this is where the passive income kicks in, right? Imagine if you just make one sale from this video, two sales from this one, five, three sales, two sales, one sale. Of course, some videos you'll make zero sales, but it doesn't matter, right? The volume will keep up with that, right? So the more videos that you make, right? They're gonna run 24 seven for you, right? Imagine you're sleeping right now, you're on a vacation, you're working a day job, you're doing whatever else you like to do in your life, right? All these videos will still runs on itself, right? They are on YouTube. People are actively watching from all around the world. You're still gonna get views 24 seven, you know, whatever you're doing, right? They still get views, meaning you're still making money on YouTube from the ads. And secondly, you're still gonna get clicks on your hop links, right? So like Warren Buffett says, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you're gonna work until you die, right? So this is literally one of the best online business model, the best online side hustle right now for you to get started. And the best part, you don't have to show your face, meaning anyone without any experience can do this. And you can use AI to do 99% of the work for you. And I'll show you how to do it very easily. So right now, I want you to go down to my video description and I want you to find a link where it says Flicky and I want you to click on that link so that it can take you to their official website. And from there, you can sign up for a free account to get started using Flicky. So once you log into your account, this is what you're gonna see, right? Of course, you're gonna see a blank empty dashboard because I've created a lot of videos in the past. So you're gonna see an empty dashboard, but don't worry, all you gotta do is simply click on this new file, right? And then I want you to select on the video category because we are making a video here. And then you wanna give, you know, a name for your video file. Let's just say five benefits of college win, right? So we are making a similar videos, right? To, you know, to whatever we're seeing just now. Okay, so five benefits of color greens. And then for the language, make sure it's like English. And then the dialect, personally, I prefer United States dialect because we wanna attract more US audience, right? Because US audience, YouTube gonna pay you more money if you have more US audience. And then for the aspect ratio, make sure you select on landscape, which is 16 to nine, because you're making a horizontal YouTube videos, okay? And then start with, make sure you select idea, bracket prompt, okay? So make sure you select the exact settings that I'm doing here, but of course you can change the founding depending on what kind of videos you're making. So you can take a screenshot or pause the video or save this video so you can refer back, you know, in the future, right? And then simply click on the submit button. And from there, you're gonna start processing and then you'll see this magic create box pop up. And make sure to select on this idea tab here because we're simply gonna give Flicky an idea, you know, like a prompt, like an instruction. And then Flicky will automatically write us the entire video script and make the entire video for us within like minutes, right? Very simple. So right now, I want Flicky to write me, create me or write me a YouTube video on the topic of five benefits of color greens, right? So this is gonna be my video idea. And then I want, I want to give a prompt to this AI to like write me the entire YouTube videos, right? So I don't have to do any work myself. So from there, you can choose the duration of a video. So you can slide this bar from left to right to choose a duration where it's one, two, four, six, seven, eight minutes, whatever, right? So for the demo purpose of this video, I'll keep it at one minute, keep it short, so you can understand how this actually works. And from there, for stock media, I want you to select on video, right? Because video stock media is better. It keeps the viewer engaged more. Okay, and the rest, you can pretty much keep it the same. Don't have to change anything. And from there, simply click on the submit button. And then you start creating, as you can see here, this bar. We start running, you start progressing. It's probably gonna take you a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on the length of a video. So if you're making longer videos, it probably will take longer. So as you can see here, I'm making a one minute video. It probably gonna take me like 10 seconds or so 
right? And then once it starts finished processing, it's gonna take me into an editing dashboard that allows me to customize and edit anything that I like. So as you can see here, once it is finished processing, right, it's gonna take me to this page here on this dashboard, and I can start customize a lot of things, right? So very important, I want you to pay close attention because there are a couple of things that we have to change here. So let me introduce you to the dashboard so that you know where to click and where to find different things. So on the left-hand side, right, you're able to find the script of the videos. As you can see here, all these scene, right, scene number one, scene number two, scene number three, right? So all these are the video script. So as you can see here, ever wondered why color greens are a super food? Benefit number one, right? Benefit number two, benefit number three, right? All these are scripts that are written by Flicky. So once again, you can see this video is pretty short because we are just making a one minute demo. But if you make a longer video, you can see there they're gonna be like more scenes and more script, right? On the left hand side, you can keep scrolling to edit whatever script that you don't like. So for example, if you don't like this part, you can type in something else or edit something, right? You can always change the script yourself. So this is the first thing. Now, secondly, is that the concern of the voiceover because a video will pretty much consist of a script and then somebody else gonna narrate and voice over the video, right? But because of AI, you can simply use the AI generated voices that exactly sounds like human, so you don't have to record your own voice. You don't even have to buy a microphone, you don't have to record a film, anything. You can simply click on any scene here, and then you wanna click on the voiceover, right? Right now it's Matthew by default, but you can click on Matthew, and then you can choose from the entire library of the voice selection. Now, of course, you can filter through whatever language, whatever dialects that you want, gender, male voice or female voice, and then you can click on the speaker icon to preview the voice. And I pick the one that you like, right there. As you can see, there's so many of them. But personally, I prefer the ultra realistic voices because they sound just so human-like. You couldn't even tell whether it's AI or human. So that's the power of AI right now. It makes your life easy. It makes something complex into something simple. So right now, anybody can start a Faces YouTube channel. Anybody can create a Faces video because they can use AI tool like this to write them the entire video script to help them narrate and voice over the entire video with just a few clicks of button, right? So once you find any voice that you like, right, make sure you scroll down and then click on here, apply to all scenes, right? Check on this box because it's gonna make changes to all the scenes in one click of a button and then simply click on select. Now it's very important for you to check the box to apply the changes to all scenes because or else you're gonna have to do this like one by one for all the scenes which is very troublesome and time consuming. So make sure you change everything in one go. And then the next thing that I want you to change and customize, which is the media. So whenever a voiceover is being narrated, right, a script, you know, being narrated here, they're gonna show you a visual. Right, a visual that's gonna show up that best represent whatever script, you know, whatever you know things they're talking about. Right, for example, here they talk about vitamins A, B, and C, right? So here they would probably show some fruits or whatever photos to like, you know, represent whatever is talking about here, whatever is discussed right now, right, on this part. So if you don't like whatever visual here, for example, this one like high in fiber aiding in digestion, right? If you don't like it, you can simply click on the media file here and then you can you know, just type whatever keywords that you want. For example, dietary, dietary fiber. And I can just click on search to see if I can find other more relevant right, visuals that I can use. And you can just scroll and look whatever that you like. You can always change like, for example, vegetables, right? If I can just change like another keywords and I can look for other different visuals that I can change. So let's just say if I like these, you know, vegetables like tomatoes or whatever, or this one, right? So let's just say if I choose on this one, I just click on it and then you can see the media is being updated, being changed, right? To whatever that you like. So you can play around with it. It's pretty fun, you know, just imagine you're having fun here. You know, you have the AI tool to write you the entire video script. You make some changes, you select the pictures, the, the video that you like. Right? And then you can always click on this play button to preview them. You can change, you know, slide this bar to choose on whatever timestamp that you want and then preview the video. And then until you're satisfied, you can make all the changes that you want, right? And then the next thing, very important, is that I want you to add on a subtitle and a caption on top of a video. 
Okay, so when you whenever you click on any of the scene here, right, simply click on the script part, and then you can see like the right hand side, this box is gonna appear. Now from there, you can change the volume of the voiceover. If you want it softer or louder, you can change the speed of the narration of the voiceover. You want to speak faster, right, or slower. So you can change to 110, say for example, and then make sure that you check on this box where it says subtitle, so they can see subtitle and caption appear on your video. So for example, you can see here right now, this subtitle is enabled, right? And it's at the bottom of the video. So right there, you can choose a lot of customization with the caption. For example, you can, you know, do the vertical alignment, whether you want it at the bottom or maybe at, you know, slightly at the middle or at the top, right? You can change the position, right? You can also change whether you want to align to left or in the middle. But personally, I prefer it to in the middle, just align it at the center here, both at the center. And then you can also change the font type, right? For example, if I like to change it to, let's just say I will scroll down, and then maybe I'll choose on here, luckiest guy, okay? And then I can also make the font larger by changing the font size. So as you can see here, it's larger right now, so that it's easier for people to read, right, the caption. Because if it's too small, if people are watching on a mobile phone, the screen is so small, the text is so small, people can hardly read it. So I prefer to make it larger, let's just say to like 60 font size. And then I can also change the text color. Right now, by default, it's white color. I think pretty good. I personally like white color. But if you don't like white color, let's just say if you want to change it to like, you know, slide it to, you know, yellow. I can just change whatever, you know, text color that I want. As you can see here, the green to blue color text here. But personally, I like to keep it, you know, as like white color. And then you can even add a background to your text. So for example, if I click on black, and then you're gonna slide this right to the right. And then you can see here, they are adding like a black background, right, behind the text. Or you can even change to like a yellow background, or if you like, you know, like even the red or pink background, you can always change and customize that. But personally, I prefer like a black background and a white color text. And then this is like a font type that I will choose. And from there, the display is very important, right? Because I would personally prefer phrase as well, because if you choose word, right, it's just gonna appear word by word, which is very weird for a video. So personally, I prefer it to be displayed in a phrase so that they appear, you know, when, you know, this is being narrated, like in fiber, aiding in digestion, right? They're gonna show this entire caption and subtitle as a phrase in one go. So I personally prefer that way. So you can, you know, play around, customize and tweak it, you know, make some changes and see how it looks like, right, until you're satisfied. And last but not least, there's one thing that you can also change, which is the background music. And once again, on the very top, you can see here common scene, right? You can see here background audio. You can click on here, right? And then you can type, you know, choose from whatever music that you like. And you can even narrow down your search to, let's just say happy music, and then click on search. And then you can see whatever that you like. Right, you can also click on this speaker icon to like preview them, right, and then listen to the music and then select them and you can apply these changes to entire video and then you are able to like listen to this new background music. So once again, play around, click on this play button to preview your video, make some changes to the script, change the video, change the caption, right, customize it, right. It's gonna probably take you like 10, 15, 20 minutes once you're familiarized, but maybe if this is your first time, it might take you 30, 40 minutes. It might take you longer because it's the first time for you to use this tool, right, which is completely normal. So that way you can use Flicky to create exactly right video like this. As you can see here, they're basically just a visual and then a voiceover that narrate the video. And then they have some caption that appear on top of the video, right? Subtitle. And then as you can see here, when I'm watching this video, right? An ad showed up, right? This is a, a YouTube ad that showed up. And then whenever I watch the ad or I click on the link, right? I click on the ad, right? This channel owner is gonna make money, right? So this is another bonus income stream that you make. So inside your video, you can also say, if you want a tasty vegan recipe, make sure to check out the link in the video description. So that way you can drive the views and turn the views into clicks in a video description. People click your link, they visit the website, and if they go on and buy this product, right, you're able to earn $35 and 75% commissions from that. And imagine if you have this build up, right? If you have five, 10, 20, 30, 50 of this video and you start getting views, start getting building up the passive income stream. And that's how you're able to generate sales consistently every single day by attracting the right kind of people because people who watch this health video, right? They wanna learn different benefits of different vegetables, fruits, and different foods, right? They are very likely to wanna buy like this vegan recipe here because they're congruent. Imagine if you're making videos about dancing, you're making videos about traveling or whatever, they're not so congruent to whatever 
whatever you're selling here, which is a plant-based cookbook. But if you're able to make video like this, right, the benefits about collard greens, right, a lot of them will convert into sales. So you don't need a lot of views to make a lot of money, right? You only need a very small number of views, but they are very specific, right? They're very targeted. So that way, a lot of those views will convert into sales. So if you want to make ClickBank sales like this, start to make money online, Building a profitable Faces YouTube channel is your number one way to get it done, right? So if you want to learn exactly step-by-step step how to launch your first profitable Faces YouTube channel with AI, even if you are a complete beginner with no prior experience, make sure you go down to my video description, click on the first link there, and then you're able to visit my website. And then simply click on this button here, put in your name and email address, and you can get instant access, and I'll walk you through a special video, how to get started, how to build your own YouTube channel so that you can make money online on YouTube and then make affiliate commissions as well. So once again, go down below to click on the first link and also make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. And if you want to see another example where I walk you through another ClickBank products that you can promote using this YouTube strategy, Faces YouTube strategy, make sure to check out the video that pop up right here on the screen, right? Click on that video, watch the next video and I'll walk you through another example and I'll see you on the next one.